On today's episode of Book Club, we're going to be talking about our Nigerian pick of the year 2019. So, what was your Nigerian book of the year? My Nigerian book of the year is Daughters Who Walk This Path by Yejibe Kilanko. I chose this book because the emotions that I felt reading it for me, it was a difficult read, not because I didn't enjoy the story, but just what the story talks about. The book follows Morayo, who is the protagonist, and how her life is changed by her cousin, Bros T, who comes to live with them and rapes her and burdens her with this heavy secret, which eventually she shares with her mother, but her mother just sweeps it under the rug to protect the family's name and this has a profound effect on how she goes on to live her life and we follow her university days. Eventually we are introduced to her auntie Moreneke who went through a similar experience but in her place her mother was her champion. Her auntie Moreneke was also raped by someone who was supposed to be Protector. Just, yeah, someone who was supposed to be a protector because what had happened was he was taking her to school, boarding school, and he stops by at the motel and, you know, she gets pregnant and he denies it. But then her family sends her to the village to give birth to the baby and then she gives birth. As things would have it, or as... Uh, the baby is the exact carbon copy of her rapist. And her mother shielded her, unlike Moriah's mother. And because of this similar experience that Auntie Morenike and Morayo share, Auntie Morenike becomes a pillar or a Moriah, And she's instrumental in just changing Mariah's life because as the, from the story if Auntie Morenike was not who she was to Mariah, Mariah's story would have ended very differently. So for me this book is very key because it explores the different themes of family and betrayal and how safe the places that are that are traditionally supposed to be our safe places are now no longer these safe places, you know, like, so where are we safe now? You know, so these are questions that plagued me from reading this book. And also how, even as your family can sometimes disappoint you, it's the same family or, yeah, it's the same family who can still, like, help you. You know, and be there for you, even if it's not the family you think is going to be there for you as well. Yeah. So this 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 book, I don't know if you can tell, but it had a profound effect on me. And one of the things I really enjoyed about it was that just made it hit home even more for me is the way the book the the way the story is told. Is in, like you can feel the innocence at the beginning and you can sense how that innocence is lost it's profound yeah, yeah. have you read the book yeah I have. what did you think um it it was a hard read to be honest but it, it showed the importance of family too yeah. like mariah's auntie how she helped her through her own pain and how, you know, sometimes you can defeat the pain by helping another person through. Yeah. And, you know, how um, Mariah was a good sister to her sister. Yeah, her younger who, sister. Yeah, who was an albino. And, you know, it, it really the theme of family Really, she really explored it and she did a good strong. job. The author did a good yeah. job. So I like yeah. the book very much. 
Okay, um, my pick of 2019 is also a book about family. I think both of you have read it. Mm -hmm. My Sister, the Serial Killer. I think too. Yeah, and I just, I had to pick this book because, first of all, I haven't read for a long time, so this sort of like allowed me to start reading again because it's very easy to read. It's non-linear, so you don't feel like mm -hmm. you're, you know, you're tied to the story and you have to begin like, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. it like, it keeps your intrigue. And I mean, the reason it really struck me was because Ayula is, their two sisters is written from the point of view of Corrie who is like the dark skin and the uglier sister. And then there's another sister, Ayula, who is light skin and she's the pretty one. And she's Ayola. the one. Ayola. Ayola. Okay. <laughs> Ayola. And she's the one everyone likes. And I just, when reading it, I was so irritated by Ayola because she's just such a classic example of like an abuser. I mean, she knows her power, she knows her position in society, and she uses it to her advantage, always at the detriment of her sister. But it's like her sister can never... And the victim. Yeah. And, <laughs> and like the actual victims of the people she killed. Because she was a serial killer, so she killed all her ex-boyfriends. You know, and they will always somehow end up dead. Like, oh yeah, you know, the first time he raised his hand on me and, you know, I just had I to fight back. <laughs> and then the second time, you know, where did you find the knife? Corridor will say, and it was, it was just <laughs> there. <laughs> and, I'm and then the third time, and then she's thinking, hmm. Mm -hmm. And then she does the worst thing. She picks her sister's, like, her sister's crush at work. And she says, okay, this will be my boyfriend. And Corridor is now like, you picked the only guy in the world I like, and now you want to kill him. And it's, she can't do anything because she talks about really it. Can. He doesn't believe her because it's like, you're just lying and you're, you're jealous and mm -hmm. you're angry and you're ugly. And it's, it's so annoying always seeing how Ayula is believed when she lies. Ayola is believed when she lies because of the way she can manipulate people. And mm -hmm. yeah. And I went to a book club and Ayola was the favorite. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, wow. Yeah, that was just like a reflection that, of our yeah, society. Yeah. You know? Like, I just loved how she wasn't phased I mean, by the fact people that. died. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, she killed them. That's why she wasn't phased. Yeah, like, she was very happy-go-lucky. Yeah. Crazy. Like, I just chugged the guy into, you know, no, no, the Lagos. Lagoon. Yeah, the Lagos guys, Lagoon. to be fair, to be fair, had the, the first two people she killed, there was more really? remorse. No, fun this But time. I feel like it was an notice. act. Because like, how can you kill someone for the first time and not be remorseful? No, she, there was a bit of remorse. She was sad. It was just the more she, she killed, appeared sad the to last... Corede. Because Corede would not help her. She was like, yeah. Well, I, I believe like she was maybe genuinely sad. It, it, I so don't believe I've never killed I before. I think but she's a sociopath. Yeah. Like, that yeah, fast. Yeah. Well, every, yeah. Everything Something. she feels is an act. Like, does she feel anything except for what she feels for herself? But you know she knows that Corrie knows her. Yeah, but Corrie lies to and herself. And she was depressed. You know what's Actually, Corrie pissed me off a lot in the story. Yeah. She was such a pushover. Yeah. Like, why couldn't she just say, stay away from him? Yeah. I like him. Like, not yeah. even stay away from him, but could you not? Yeah. I like this guy. And... It's, another, it's, a, it's a lesson to learn. If you can't fight for what you want, then should you have it? Yeah, but I mean, I also felt it, sh it shows the way that people do act when, like, they're in abusive relationships. Lots of the time, yeah. victims, like, they don't, w they've, they've learned that this is my place and this is how, deep? yeah. Actually, it was, it is, it is. an abusive it's relationship. It's an abusive it's victim. Yes, yeah. it's, I like, was she believes in terms of the people she's killed. No, the it's, it's a proper abuser, yeah. abuse, abuse, I think abuse. Yeah, they abuse are me. two people and it, it also shows the way, um, people react differently to abuse because they are two people that have been abused by yes. their father by their True. father and uh talking about family because team of family is also yeah, of course very strong. there's very strong care uh it shows that the family is not a safe place mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Especially in our culture, like it's time we realize and, and accept it. Now are talking about yes, it, and accept know? it that daughters who walk this path rape within the family. 
yeah. hear like physical abuse, mental abuse by their father. Yeah. Yeah. So the this is yeah, yeah, and yeah. The, yeah. exactly yeah. and the trauma. So we, you so how do you have to like navigate society with these traumas and it's and that's the story. That is their own blueprint. So my own uh, pick of 2019. My pick of obviously <laughs> is my sister, the serial killer. It's As well, yeah. Very easy read. Yes, I found that the moment I picked it, it's hard. I it's drop it. It's hard to see someone who drops this like, book. Yeah. Mean, <laughs> like it's always. But you know, what actually got me. Mm-mm. But it was how she described how she like cleans the scene. Yeah. The OCD in me really enjoyed mm-hmm. it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I mean, it's uh, not. Okay, no, so I'm you learned a few things. No, no, I didn't. I did not. It's just it's, it's about another person who kills people. I didn't learn anything. But I don't. I wasn't <laughs> yeah. angry with the fact that um, um, Kuredi was uh, a pushover. Yeah. I I get that a lot of people because, were irritated yeah. by the fact that she was a pushover, but yeah, she's been abused so many times. Yeah, and, and the thing is. Yeah. Well, she's not in your in your la. Like she didn't react that way, mm. and there's a way love can make us stupid. Yeah, and the thing is, is that in a sense, Corey has been taught by her mother that you know she's the one who has to be accountable for all Ayola yeah. does. Yeah. Ayola there's is never that. responsible for anything. No never has to be accountable. So Corey has already learned from when she's growing up that. Everything I do right? and my sister does is my fault. So then how can you, you know, overcome what your mother has told you, overcome like your entire family to now be on the other side where you're like, okay, yeah. you know. I think that's why the book even ended the way it did because it, ended it, was, it yeah. was Corey versus her family. I mean, yeah. She just wouldn't, I don't, I don't see her winning if she had. And you know what, that also brings a dark side to the African culture in the sense that when there are children, when people have children, they decide to handpick how many people are responsible for this Mm -hmm. or that. So it's like the firstborn, the older one, you take the burden of everybody. Your younger one messes up, it's your fault. You are the girl, you are supposed to. You know, those are things wrong with the family institution in Africa. Another thing I want to talk about, no, I, I really want to talk, is Tade. Hey, um, okay. Love I Interest. I love him. how, in the beginning, we're introduced to Tade as this um, intri- Taught to... Yeah, like he's different. Yeah, he's different. not different. typical. Oh, I have to see But then he meets Ayola and you know, he's not so different you know, after all. Corey believed there was something, there was, you know, mm-hmm. something about a, a, your last lovers, mm-hmm. and that was that they were shallow minded. Yeah. She said, it, like, in terms yeah, of did. their appearance and all that, and the fact that your book club people were really, you know, drawn mm-hmm. to that person. And at the end of the day, she, she was like, that, that that's the false, it. exactly. Yes. That's the thing about, um, that's why, you know, maybe there's just that shaman. Um, yeah, like at the end of the day, men are shallow. So at the end of the day, yeah. yeah, of course not all men, yeah. but there, there's that yeah, thing and the power of physical appearances, especially if you've been socially engineered to believe this is wow, yeah. because he couldn't even define or explain what, what it was, was, was about. Like about her. Yeah, yeah, because it really was just her beauty. But yeah, okay. I think it wasn't just her beauty. It was. It was, her, just it, was her, just it was just her beauty. It was just her beauty. It was just her beauty. The men in her life, she made them feel... Yeah, because they got a babe. They scored one when they At got the her. At the end of the day, it was her. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You know, <laughs> honestly, I understand that. I think she's also a result of mm-hmm. society telling her that, okay, wow, you are socially accepted as beautiful. And she's just like, okay, well, if this is what society is, this is how society is going to treat me. Because imagine her growing growing up as a child, unaware of her looks until society made her aware that, wow, you are gorgeous. And then she... You can't remember remember how she was finding a way to that. Yeah. By her father. Yeah. Thank you for listening to this episode of Booktown.